like to give you a brief introduction of our artist. Alina Ten is an eco couture artist, fashion, and interior designer, owner of 3D Art Design Studio. She has over 20 successful years of experience in the fine arts, has many international, local, and solo exhibitions, including presenting her artwork at the Vancouver Fashion Week, Western Canada Fashion Week Celebrity Collection, Canadian Asian Fashion Week, Mississauga Fashion Week, Eco Chic Fashion Show, to name a few. Ten has designed wearable artwork for celebrities such as Celine Dion and Miss Galaxy Canada. She has been awarded twice as the best wearable art designer and was recently the finalist at the Felt Inspiration International Competition. Her collection has been featured on covers of numerous international and national magazines, including American Lifestyle Magazine and the Amazing Canadian Fashion Magazine, to name a few. She works with different mediums and techniques, but focuses on using eco-sustainable and all natural materials. Her favorite is fiber art, silk painting, batik, nuno felting, wool watercolor, and 3D felt sculpture. So without further ado, let me introduce Alina Ten. Over to you, Alina. Hello. I hope you are very happy today because I'm happy. Welcome to my studio, 3D Art Design Studio. And today we're gonna create a permanent poppy, Remembrance Day poppy. We can create based on the kit different shapes like this one, two layers, smaller size like that, or even more rounded shape depends of your preference and style. I hope everyone got um, the felting kit. What felting kit it includes the step by step instructions and extra fine mirroring in red and in green, silk with viscose fibers for embellishments, and black ham. Also, I added uh, st a stigma with stems like that. It will be easier to use. And the brush uh, base with the alligator clip and the pin. To start, we need to prepare the table and take the plastic wrap. You have in the kit the plastic wrap. It's rectangular shape. And we need to put half of the plastic on the table. The rest will later cover the design layout. Okay, everybody already prepared. After that, we need to take uh, the extra fine merino wool. And divide it in two parts like that. It will be easier for you to manage. So divide it in two parts. Now, hold it in your left hand approximately 15 centimeters apart, like from the end, hold it. Do not like hold it too hard, right? And with your right hand, if you're right-handed, um, take approximately one centimeter from the end and pull it. So it should be very thin layer like that and put it on the center. Next one, the same. Just pull it gently and put it in the center. The shape we are trying to create kind of radial to create the flower, round shape. Next one, put it from the center to outside. Like that, hope you see everything. And again, 15 centimeters from the end, it will be easier for you to pull the extra fine merino wool. It's very soft, 
fine grades. So if any empty spaces, just put it extra wool on top, a little bit press it gently. If you finish first circle, we need to do second layer. Second layer is gonna be in opposite directions. So again, you need to pull it but put it from the outside to the center. From outside to the center. Okay. If you have any question, you can ask or write it down and I will answer. But most of the question I will answer in the end of the step-by-step -step masterclass. You have the instructions as well printed out and also Shruti before I send you on your email as well. Okay. Copy finish the second layer of the wool. Gently press it and see if it's in any empty spaces here. If any empty spaces, you just add extra layer on top. After that, please take the shiny, shiny um, red fibers. You will feel it like a silk, it's silky one. And again, you will need to take like 10 centimeters apart, hold it with the right hand and with your left hand, hold it approximately, uh, let's say one and a half centimeter and pull it gently and put it from the center to outside in radial movements. Okay. Here we go, all the way around. It was, it's supposed to be very light and transparent. Do not put please thick, thick layers because it will be very hard to felt. So basically if, um, because the fibers will shrink approximately 30%, so if you want the size of the flower, uh, let's say 10 centimeters in diameter, you need to create the layout, let's say 15 centimeters because it will shrink and it will be smaller. Okay, if you finish with the red silk viscose fibers, embellishments, we need to take the black one. You have the black, it's hemp. So again, you can hold it approximately five centimeters apart and gently, gently pull it. It's almost like transparent one. You need to put it in the center like crisscross design to create the center design because very long. So you can create like cross design, cross cross design. If it's too thick, you can pull it again and again to create it lighter. So we just trying to create very realistic kind of poppy. Okay, I hope you see how it's look like. So, all the way around to create it even design. Okay.
So now we will need to, it's not necessary, but I would like to show you how to create the leaves. You have the green extra fine marina wool. Again, you need to hold it approximately 15 centimeters apart. And pull it. It's first layer. And again, pull it. It's second layer. And now, third time, you just pull it and put it on top. I'll show you. It should be like that, like a leaf. This one, one part, you can roll it a little bit to create the shape of the leaf. And the same you need to do with, we can create two leaves, you know, just in case. One and two. And three. So the video will be available on Marhamart Console Facebook. So you can review it later on as well. So basically now, in the list of the materials I provided um, that you will need uh, the, the bowl of water, just regular warm water. Also, you will need the cup of soapy water. For that cup, you will need roughly two tablespoons of dish washing detergent. It's uh, just regular liquid one. You can use olive soap, um, olive oil soap, but it's not necessary for such a small project. You can use uh, liquid soap or um, dishwasher, dishwasher detergent. So, and uh, the towel, you will need the towel as well. If you finish with the design, we can proceed. The next step, we take the, the um, soapy water and just put a little bit, not too much, just a little bit of water in the center of the flower and put it on the leaves as well. Just a little bit here and a little bit here. Not too much, it should be just enough. So these approximately 10 milliliters of um, the cup, it's almost all water here, almost. Okay, if any extra like water, you can remove it with your towel. Now, the rest of the plastic wrap, you need to cover the design, your layout. Cover it and gently, gently press it. Gently press it and remove all air bubbles. Gently, gently. In the felting, it's always the movements from very gentle in the beginning to pretty rough in the end to felt it and pull it together, the fibers. And because fibers has a scales, it penetrates to each other and creates new fabric or sculpture. So now remove all, all bubbles and make sure that the water 
the the uh, your design it's completely wet okay now you can use just very gentle movements like that or even take the towel and on top just make the round round movements on top of your design approximately one minute you need to to do it like these movements roughly one minute it's kind of alternative um faulting because most of the artists they use the bubble wrap and uh, bamboo extra it's a lot of work this one kind of a small project is just perfect now what we need to do is we can fold it in the half like make sure that the flower kind of in the center Okay, and close it like you're packaging it. Now, you can take it and you can gently, gently do that movements. Again, approximately 60 times or 60 seconds during like one minute. You can do that. And during that time, it's um, the fibers migrate to each other. Basically, the wool is like a glue. It has a scales and put together other fibers like silk, viscose, and hemp. So in these directions, one minute, and then in these directions, opposite directions on the side. Because we have round shape, we need to do it all the way around. Okay, like that. This way. After that, we will need to roll it. You can use it as a re like regular pen to roll all your design on it, but it's, to be honest, not necessary. So basically what you need to do is just roll it like that. Gently roll it. like that in this shape. So, and now you need to massage it. Massaging it again during roughly one minute. Yep. Like that. After that, you need to unroll it and do it from opposite directions. Roll it from another end. If you will do just rolling on one direction, it will shrink and will become, instead of round flower, the oval shape, right? So. We need to roll it in all directions. If it's too much water, you can use your towel. And roll it on the towel. Uh, 
after that, you just unroll it and do it like kind of diagonally. Roll it like that. And again, you can roll it like that. Another triangle. Okay, again, you need to roll it gently, do not push too hard. Next angle. Yeah, you can use different movements like regular, you can turn and you can push it with kind of roll it with your palms or with your fingers change like different type of massaging techniques right now can. and the last one okay so now you can use more fast movements and roll it a little bit faster do not press too hard because if you press hard it will you will squish it and it will not roll just in between of your fingers just roll it like that okay and then open it now you can see that's a little bit it's shrinks already so we can fold it and we can drop it gently like that on the table. Use its own weight. Do not do it too hard. It's like fooling process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lift it up and drop it. Lift it up and drop it. Approximately like one minute. So 60 times you can do it. Okay. Hold it all like backwards. Hold it in a small shape like that and drop it. Again, roughly like one, one minute. It's really very simple, but you need to follow certain movements and certain instructions as I mentioned before. The felting is always from the gentle to very rough. Now we need to open it, the design, and see how it's felted. Carefully open it. Mm -hmm. Mm 
gently lift it up, the design, the flower, all the way around. Just gently, gently lift it up, all the way around. Now, gently stretch it, the side of the circle, the side, the edges of our flower, just a little bit, very gently stretch it. Like take uh, like two centimeters apart between the fingers and just gently stretch it. Gently, very gently. Okay. Like that. All the way around. Look, it's great. It's already create the shape of the flower. Okay. Now what we need to do is to put the flower on your palm, take your thumb and push it in the center and kind of close the flower inside. If it's too much water, you can use your towel and a little bit squeeze it on the towel and start rolling, gently, gently roll it. Create like with your hands, the shape of the round shape and gently roll it. Gently, gently roll it, yeah. Roll it, let's say 10 times, 10 circles, let's say, and then open it, open it. And again, stretch a little bit the ends. Okay, like that. And again, use your tongue or finger and push it, create the round, round shape and create the bowl, basically, like closed flower petal. Okay, and roll it. Roll it like that. So, looks like a bowl. At the same time, take the leaves, two leaves. It looks like prefelt. It's uh, very like, gently squeeze it. You can squeeze it in a bowl or in a towel, gently. And again, you can roll it a little bit like that and massaging it gently. And the circle movements ten, 10 times and then check the designs because if you'll continue faulting it together, so it will become one leaf. So we need two leaves. Okay. Now we can put it all together and save the time. We can roll it all together. Alina? Let's yes? We have 10 minutes left. Okay. So basically we roll it like that. It's a lot of soap here. What we need to do to put it in the water, just clean water, warm water, lukewarm water, doesn't matter. Okay. And kind of wash it and squeeze it a little bit gently. Mm -hmm. And continue to roll it 10 times. And now unroll it. Put apart the leaves because they are already starting to fold it together. Put it together and open our flower and stretch the edges as we did before. OK. 
Okay. Again, put it together and roll it. Like that. Again, you can do it during one minute to felt to felt it properly. And then next step, you can use your towel, put your designs like that, and roll it inside of the towel. Okay. And you can roll it roughly like one minute, unroll it and do it, turn around the design and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, you can see that it shrinks a lot. Again, every time you need to check the design and stretch the edges of the flower, like create the petals. Check the leaves. Open it. Change the direction of the leaves and the flower as well. And roll it again. Okay. Okay. It's almost done. We remove the water, soapy water. And now, last time, we can put the leaves inside, press it, create the bowl round shape, and felt it. You can drop the flower like that 60 times, but to be honest, if you will roll it like that, it will be enough. We are almost done. So basically, here we go. Look. So you can let it dry in this shape. The shape, you can choose the shape you want. For example, look, this one, very nice one and the leaves as well. You can create the shape of the leaf. Okay, like that. This one. And you can put the stamen on top and add the Okay, this one, yes. So what you will need to do, you can use hot glue gun. When it will be dry, you, get, you can sew it, like sew the stigma and stamen together to the flower and with the leaves together and add the pin. You can sew it or you can glue it together to create this beautiful flower. And you can wear it during all year, not only for Remembrance Day. And sustainable, it's organic, it's eco couture. So if you have any questions, just unmute yourself and let me know. Hopefully you, you enjoy that masterclass because I do have different type of like masterclasses. And to be honest, you can create different type of flowers in different colors and in different shapes, like this shape, this shape in blues. I do have, it's most of them in art galleries. And I do have like kids to create even, it's another techniques. It's, needle felting technique. So basically you can create a three dimensional like sculptures or any, any design. Also you can create the, uh, it's techniques called 
wool watercolor and needle faulting. I have the kit with the special needle faulting needles so you can pocket and create the design and frame it to put it in a shadow box and decorate your house. It's uh, like art therapy. Yeah. So if you have any questions, just unmute yourself and yeah. Hopefully you, you enjoy the master class and hopefully you create something like that. Elena, this was absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, like she said, you're welcome to ask her questions right now, or you can email the questions to info at markamartscouncil.com.